Well, let me just start, start off by uh, thanking you all for your hard work and uh, and just uh, I want to express my immense admiration and appreciation for everything you've done to build uh, Giga Nevada and to help revolutionize the world. Uh, it, with, it, that this, this, this factory has made a massive effect on transitioning the world to sustainable energy. Um, and it's uh, something you should be inc incredibly, incredibly proud of. Um, and I'm incredibly proud of you guys for, for doing it. So. Elon před pár minutama oznámil, že Tesla bude investovat dalších 3,6 miliardy dolarů do dalšího rozvoje továrny v Nevadě. Jedná se o dvě nové továrny v rámci toho komplexu, jedna na články baterie 4680 s kapacitou až 100 gigawatt hodin, s tím, že cíl je 1000, 2000 až 3 gigawatt hodin a první velkosériovou továrnu na nákladáky Tesla Semi. To je pouze začátek druhé fáze, více dozvíte ve videu. Um, it's hard to believe that it was almost a decade ago that we started uh, that we started building this place. Um, I mean, I can remember coming out here to the uh, Tahoe Reno Industrial Complex, as it's uh, interestingly named, um, and um, and it was nothing. There was just rocks, and uh, and now we've got this incredible factory. It's the most advanced uh, cell and battery and powertrain factory in the world. So it, it's interesting to see the original goal. Um, we thought uh, at the time people thought this was a crazy amount of batteries to make. Um, in fact, th this was um, when we started out. This this one factory was set up to build more lithium-ion batteries than the rest of the world combined, um, and it remains by far the biggest uh, factory in North America. And um, and the, the reason we built it is because there there literally weren't enough lithium-ion batteries. Uh, if you took all of the factories in Earth combined, it, it wouldn't be enough uh, to make uh, electric vehicles at scale. So that's why we concluded we had to build a factory, a really big factory, which is why we, where the giga part comes in. Um, so it, it's uh, one of the biggest factories in the world, and it's, it's going to get, get bigger. Um, so in, in 2014, we, we projected uh, 35 gigawatt hours of battery cells, and um, yeah. And we're there. So, we've done 6.2 billion dollars uh, of investment. It's uh, over 5 million square feet, uh, 11,000 team members, and we've, we have 3,200 acres of which we've still only used a small portion. So we've got plenty of room to, to grow. Um, and I should say that the you know uh, what uh, I'm announcing today is actually not the end of it. Um, it's just really phase two. So there's going to be like phase three and, and, and four. So where we are right now is we've, we've made uh, seven, over seven billion uh, cells. We're actually almost more cells than people. In fact, we, <laughs> so, and we've, we've done um, over three and a half million drive units, so motors and power electronics. Um, we've made uh, a million uh, energy modules for stationary storage. And in terms of the uh, economic uh, uh, impact, it's really substantial, six billion dollars of total economic output every year, $37 million into K-12 education, and we're going to increase that. So and, and it's focused on robotics and sustainability. Now, all of that was just the beginning. Well, phase one, at least. <laughs> um, and so we're, um, at what, what we're announcing today is um, a massive additional investment. Um, and um, here's a sneak peek of what the factory will look like. Yeah, it's going to look so, it's like sick. <laughs> and one of the other things that's really cool is we actually achieved our um, production goals with basically about half of what of the space we thought would be needed. So uh, now we're going to fill out the other half, and uh, so we're you know on to phase two. So um, we're going to be investing. I, mean, I should say these are conservative numbers. So we expect to exceed these numbers. Um, I think we'll end up investing. Over four billion. Um, we're adding another f four million square, of, uh, square feet of manufacturing space, and at least three thousand jobs, d direct jobs. And I think it'll probably end up being uh, more, more than that. These are conservative estimates. So yeah, so we're we're, we're going to do our high volume uh, semi truck manufacturing here, 
Um, and, uh, and then we're also uh, going to be uh, adding 100 gigawatt hours of, uh, 40, of, of Tesla 4680 cell manufacturing here. And that's just to start. Uh, I think long term, we, we may do as much as uh, five, uh, yes, as, as much as uh, 500 gigawatt hours long term. Uh, but this increment is uh, 100 gigawatt hours. Hugely important, uh, game changer. Long term, Tesla is aiming to produce uh, uh, well over 1,000 uh, gigawatt hours, um, possibly uh, two, two or 3,000. So this really is just the start. And that's equivalent to one and a half million additional Model 3Y vehicles. Um, and, uh, and they will also be using 4680 for stationary storage as well. Um, and, and, and to be clear, this is in addition to our suppliers. So when you think about the fact that there's uh, 2 billion cars and trucks on the road globally, um, obviously you've got to build a lot of electric vehicles to replace all the gasoline-powered vehicles.